A lot of you are wanting to know how to upload a video on YouTube. Specifically, almost 50,000 of you search for an answer to this every month. So I'm gonna show you how to upload a YouTube video today. And beyond just telling you which buttons to click, I'm also gonna show you some little tricks and things you need to do along the way so that once your video is published, it actually gets some views. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency with a mission to help small businesses grow. Before we get started, please go ahead and like this video for me, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the business growing videos that we put out every single week. All right, so let's start with how to upload a video from desktop. If you haven't already made a YouTube account, you'll need to do that first. And an easy way is to just sign in using your Gmail. From there, you need to decide if you wanna upload videos and create your channel from your personal account or if you want it to be a company account. I'm gonna skip the tutorial on how to create a company YouTube channel in this video because that's not why the majority of you clicked on this video, but if that is something that you want to see, comment below and let me know. Once you're all logged in and you've got the right account selected, you're gonna hit the create icon and click upload a video and then this open file window will appear. You can either hit the blue select files button or you can drag and drop a video file like I'm gonna do here. Now I'm just selecting a random video for the sake of this tutorial, but you'll wanna obviously choose a video that you have put a lot of thought into, planned intentionally with your target audience in mind and created to give value to your audience. Once it's uploaded, a screen like this will pop up, which will prompt you through these five sections of the process. On this first page, we have your title, which can be up to 100 characters, and your description, which can be up to 5,000 characters. You'll wanna use the title to do these three things. Number one, include the keyword you're wanting to rank for. Number two, get the viewer's attention to make them want to click. And number three, make it clear to the viewers what the video is about. Don't get so clickbaity with number two that number three gets lost. For the description, you'll want to utilize this space to do a few things. Give the viewer a quick summary as to what the video is going to be about and be sure to again include your keyword in the first couple lines. Give them the call to action to subscribe to your channel and hit the notification bell so that they get updated when you upload a new video. Include links to any other related videos of yours that they can watch on your YouTube channel, be it related to the topic of this video that you're uploading or just your top videos in general. You can include a link to your website, but I would advise that you limit your descriptions to just one external URL. YouTube wants to keep people on its platform, so generally the algorithm favors you more when you don't link away from the YouTube website. Include timestamps that also have relevant keywords in them because that can help you get found on Google search engine in addition to YouTube's. Plus they're just viewer friendly to help viewers find the info that they need. From there, you'll want to upload a thumbnail. You can technically choose a screenshot from the video as a thumbnail, but I would recommend creating and uploading one that does a lot of the same things your title should do. Get the viewer's attention and make them want to click. I'll link Jelly's video on how to create a thumbnail for you in the description to help get you started there. From there, you can add your video to a playlist if you plan on grouping like topics together which I would recommend so as to create bingeable content for viewers and keep them on your channel for longer. If you don't know how to create a playlist, you can watch my video on how here. Under audience, you'll need to select if your video is made for kids or not. And to clarify, this is not asking if your video is inappropriate or not. It just means, do you want your video to reach kids? We typically say, no, it's not for our videos because kids are not our target market. So we don't want our organic views wasted on them. You can take this a step further and restrict your video to people who are only 18 and over as well. Automatic chapters is where you can let YouTube add automatic timestamps, but we usually do that ourselves in the description, like I mentioned earlier, because we want the chapters to hold specific keywords. Below that, you'll need to add tags to your video. Think of all the relevant search terms people could search for in which you'd hope they'd find this video that you're uploading and add those as tags. Now, throughout the screen share, you've probably seen little blue tools prompting help at every step of the way. This is the vidIQ plugin tool that we use every single day to help us optimize our channel and videos. If you want to learn more about this tool and learn how to install it, you can watch my YouTube keyword research video, but otherwise you will not see this tool on your screen when you're uploading a YouTube video. After that, you have a lot of optional or standard features that transparently we don't usually mess with such as language, recording date and location, license and distribution, and shorts sampling. 
but you can set those features to whatever your preference is. Below that, you'll want to select the proper category and choose if and how you want to display comments, likes, and dislikes on your video. And then lastly, on this screen, you can set up a fundraiser to go along with your video if applicable. Once you've got this screen the way you want it, you can hit the blue next button. The next screen is monetization. Now in this screen share, the example video that I uploaded was from when we were featured on NBC's The Profit. So YouTube has picked up on that and is not offering me monetization because of copyright laws. But in most cases, you would be uploading your own original content without copyright issues. And so you would select what type of ads you want displayed on your video so as to make money from simply uploading it. You have to have at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the past year to be eligible for monetization. So if you have less than that, you probably won't see this screen in your process. But if you have reached that threshold, you can apply for YouTube's partner program to start monetizing. Once you've got those options set correctly, you can hit the blue next button. Now, before we get into this video element screen, here is a quick message from one of our co-founders, Sherman. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. All right, on the video element screen, you can add subtitles and end screen and cards. I would suggest you utilize all three. Add cards whenever you reference another video in your video and add an end screen to prompt more of your material to people at the end of your video. You wanna keep people on your channel, that's the goal. Once you've added everything, hit the blue next button. The check screen is where YouTube checks your video for issues that may restrict its visibility or monetization and then gives you the opportunity to fix those issues before publishing. So as you can see, it's flagging me because like I said, I've got a copyrighted video uploaded, but this is a great screen to just double check everything to make sure nothing is gonna cause you unnecessary problems. One time we uploaded what we thought was a royalty-free audio in our video and this screen showed us that that was not the case. So we were able to fix that and get new audio on the video before we published. Once you're done with the screen, click the blue next button to the last screen, the visibility section. You can either make your video public, unlisted or private, or you can schedule it to publish later. Private means only you and people you choose can see the video. Unlisted means anyone with the video link can see the video, and public means everyone can see the video. And if you're publishing it as public right now, you can set it to instant premiere. If you're scheduling your video in advance, you can set it to regularly premiere. YouTube premieres lets you and your viewers watch and experience a new video together in real time. Create buzz for your premiere by sharing the watch page so viewers can set reminders, chat, and leave comments. So it allows you to talk with viewers in real time once the video publishes in a live chat and your subs will get notifications about the video leading up to its publishing, which usually helps increase views. Make sure you've got everything on this screen set the way you want it before hitting the blue save button because if if you publish right now, you can still go back and edit some things, but it will be out there. People might have already seen the mistakes you fix an hour later, etc. But once you're ready, you can hit the blue save or publish button. Now let's quickly cover how to upload a video from your phone. Download the YouTube app and click the plus create button and click upload video and follow all the same prompts from there. Although be careful because depending on the type of video you upload, it will automatically upload it as a short like it wants to do it with my video here. So you'll wanna make sure you're uploading a longer horizontal style video if you want it to upload like a regular video. So what questions do you have? Is there any particular issue stumping you that you hoped I was gonna cover but I didn't? Leave any questions you have for me down in the comments. Otherwise, that about wraps up everything I have for you today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell before you go. And I will see you in the next episode.